One of the most uh, famous miracles uh, performed by St. Anthony was the famous Sermon to the Fishes in the city of Rimini. I am now at the entrance of the sacristy, and up here on the right we have this beautiful fresco which was painted by Girolamo Tessari in 1518. In the background you can see the city of Rimini, and in the foreground two friars. One, of course, is St. Anthony, and the other one is another Franciscan friar. The saint is blessing all sorts of fish, and they are all listening carefully to what he is saying. The story goes that one day Anthony went to Rimini, where there were a lot of heretics. He started to preach, but they didn't want to listen to him, and they even mocked him. In a dramatic gesture, Anthony went to the seashore, saying, and I'm reading now from the Book of Miracles. Because you show yourself unworthy of God's word, behold, I turn to the fishes so that your unbelief may be shown up more clearly. As he spoke of God's care for those creatures living in the water, a shoal of fish swam near the bank, pa partly partly, I mean, thrusting themselves out of the water and appearing to listen carefully to the words of St. Anthony. At the end of his sermon, the saint blessed them and uh, they swam away. In the meantime, so deep was uh, the impression made upon the onlookers that many of them hurried back to the city imploring the other citizens to come and see the miracle while other you know burst into tears they they knelt in front of the saint asking for forgiveness soon after a great multitude of people gathered around the saint who exhorted them to turn back to god so through this sermon to the fishes in the, the city of Rimini was purged of heresy. But now let's move on to another fresco. It's a beautiful fresco and it shows the same miracle. It is very close to here in the Chapel of the Blessing. We are now in front of the Chapel of the Blessings. Behind me you can see this beautiful fresco painted by Piero Annigoni in 1981. Of course, it represents the miracle of the Sermon to the Fishes. Annigoni was a great painter of the 20th century who, although he did not have faith, he did not have the gift of faith, he was, although, constantly searching for it. In looking at uh, this particular fresco, Anigoni used to say, you see all those people in the background um, who are looking at, uh, at St. Anthony while he is performing the miracle? Well, all those faces are in me. They represent me. They are inside me who am constantly searching for the light. Anigoni was searching for Christ. And I dearly hope that he managed to find Christ, to find Jesus before his death in 1988. With this miracle, the miracle of the Sermon to the Fishes, Anthony is in a certain sense addressing all of us. He's asking us, are you real Christians? Are you real Christians? One of the most important things to understand about Christianity is that it is not primarily a philosophy or a system of ethics or a religious ideology and not even a cult. It is a relationship, a personal relationship with Jesus. So to be a Christian is to know Christ as our friend. But Jesus stands at the, the door of our hearts and is knocking 
at uh, the door of our heart and he's waiting a response. He wants to come in. He wants to come in and be part of our lives. Have we opened the door or are we still waiting? In one of his sermons, Anthony writes, To believe is to give one's heart. My son, says the Lord, give me your heart. He who gives his heart, gives his all. So, he believes who subjects himself wholly to God in devotion of heart. And so we pray. Lord, through the preaching of our dear St. Anthony, you brought many back to the Church. So please unite all Christians in one heart and one soul. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end.